Yo, what's going on, goats? It's the GOAT. Golden Mills here, man, back with another Madden video. Hey, if you're new to the channel, hit that like and sub button. Under road to 13,000 subscribers. Every sub is highly appreciated. Here in today's video, man, I do have the Big Dime 146 ebook. Now, y'all been waiting on it. Y'all been waiting on it for a while. Now, what you want to do for this is you want to put all safeties and you want to take out every linebacker. So, find a backup safety that's fast. Um... Sometimes you won't have extra safeties, but that's cool because all you want to do is sub a cornerback and there's a safety up here And then put one of the safeties at linebacker. That's all you have to do literally all you have to do So that is all you want to do now the plays we're going to be going over is Tampa 2 and cover 3 now there's different ways you can set this up, but you always want to come out in cover You always want to come out in where is that DB fire 2 Right here DB sting 2 buzz. This is what you always want to come out in now. I'm gonna show you against a random Offense, well, I'm gonna just go bunch offset because bunch offset is probably one of the most popular formations. So, now what you want to do is not get quick snapped because as you can see, if you get quick snapped, it's going to be bad. But the computer won't let me set it up. All you want to do is audible to cover to sync, audible to cover to sync, slide your line, and also I did mess up. You want to turn auto flip off, turn off auto flip, and I'm gonna try to go do that in the, in the options, turn off auto flip settings auto flip off there it goes the reason why you want to turn auto flip off because you also want to have the blitz coming from the left side on tampa 2 because it's going to get very very glitchy so all you want to do is auto to cover to sync slide your line to the left with um left d-pad and left slide and bring this dude about right here off his hip, but back him up a little bit. This is the, the glitch and contain. Now, backside adjustments are very important. One thing you could do is man up square, shade over top so it doesn't get burnt, and put one of your linebackers in a middle third just like this and use it as safety. This when it becomes very, very glitchy to move the ball. People don't know what you're gonna do until it looks like this. Let him snap the ball. And as you can see, that dude comes in free every time. And th this is the glitch. I'm trying to put y'all on game. I'm trying to put y'all on game because some people, they don't know what they're doing. They would just um, audible to cover to sink and bring this dude in the contain. Now, as you can watch it, this is the bad way to set up. This is not the good way. But I'm going to let you watch what happens. I'm going to let you see if it comes in. It should not come in at all. So I didn't slide. See, as you can see, people think Big Dime is bad because the way you set it up last year doesn't work this year. But that is totally not the case. Totally not the case. Big Dime is still overpowered. Once again, audible to cover to sink. Slide your line to the left. Crash up on the D-line. And bring this dude back a little bit to about right here. Press. Man up square. This is for just for gun bunch formations. Um, You can put X in the middle third. Blitz L1 and put square in a curl flat. Something like this. You can just go exotic on defense. Or when you put him in a curl flat too, just something to confuse your opponent. But that dude is going to come screaming off the edge. Let him snap the ball. Now, you know, anything coming from this side of the field deep, you have to cover. Um, if this dude's going on a deep, you got him covered. So let him snap the ball. And as you can see, he is not going to always come in. But nine times out of ten, is going to come in. And as you can see, everything was bagged right there but McCaffrey. So once again, cover to sink, slide, crash up on the D-line, bring this dude about right here, contain, just like this. Let him snap the ball, and I'll show you different ways to set up. This is just one way. This is just one way right here. Let him snap it. And as you can see, everything is bagged. That's interceptions. So that is only if you want to send four. Now, if you want to send five and you want to guarantee the blitz coming, this is how you would set it up. Cover two sync, slide your D-line to the left once again. Um, bring this dude right here, blitz him, and you would want to blitz this dude. Now, blitzing this dude can be a risk in gun bunch because of how good the flats are. But if you want to make sure the flats are taken away, you want to move this dude right here and put him in a curl flat. You want your curl flats at five just to stop that right there. You can use it as linebackers just to make it look like you're not sending everybody, but you have the whole middle of the field. So the whole middle of the field is going to be yours. You didn't put nobody in the middle of the field, but this is the risk you want to take. Unless you want to put this dude in a hook curl just like this, use this dude and put it square in a outside 
quarter or outside third just like that um now this is very very risky defense but you have help in the middle of the field so let them snap the ball it's an extremely risky defense but that help in the middle of the field can help a little bit and you they're gonna have to make a quick read and if you take away their first read with your user you can become real real glitchy with this and potentially get a pick six because people don't like facing big dime because it's too much stuff you could do um you could just keep it stock now if you don't see them hitting the flats you can just keep it stock just like this i have no problem with you just keeping it stock two soft squats um middle third and you use the marcus williams now if you don't feel comfortable with that middle third you could also do something like man of the running back so this dude is a wild card in cover two you can do anything with him if you want to make sure you take away the deep blue um once again put a deep zone on the field so let him snap the ball now everything is covered everything is covered just take away the flats oh my goodness did i just get dotted up i thought i got dotted up but you see once again he will not have time now if you want to send the dogs dogs now this is if third and long third and 19 fourth and 19 if you want to send the dog dogs all you want to do is blitz all linebackers because you're already going to be out in cover two buzz and blitz all the linemen just like this press and contain you don't want to change nothing now this is if it's third and long um and go to a cover three shell just like this now this is once again third and 19 fourth and 19 third and 20 anything of that caliber if you want to make sure you get them off the field let them snap the ball now this blitz is this is a hell blitz right here this is if you know for sure and as you can see the, the field going to be open but your user has to be great to run this defense your user has to be great um once again just like this now you know the only thing that could beat you is the middle of the field but you know you can't give up nothing deep so i just stay right here stay right here take away the middle of the field the only thing that could beat you is something deep you you perfectly fine giving that up just make a tackle and as you can see i can't make a tackle so the only thing you have to do with this defense is make tackles i'll show this to you one more time um blitz all linebackers blitz all the linemen contain go in this type of zone um now this will make sure he doesn't scramble out keep all the cheese straight and that's exactly what you want on third and long oh my goodness just make a tackle hey just make a tackle that's all you want doing third and long fourth and long you want something in front of you but that's cover two now we're gonna go into cover three now cover three the way i like to set it up is my curl flats on five um cloud flats on 25 so cover three you can take away anything short say they're throwing flat routes because they do not like big dime cover three is very very simple all you want to do is slide your d-line to the left this time because the blitz are going to come off here slide your d-line to the left um bring say bring the linebackers up put this linebacker in the middle third control you always want to control the weak side safety just in case they run the ball extra number to the um strong side but this is how you want it to look right here let them snap the ball just something basic a basic cover three look um also what you can do is deep half this side and curl flat put a um a cloud flat over there now this is just in case if you're scared of verticals the cover three beater if you're scared of cover three beaters and put this dude in a curl this is one thing you can do let him snap the ball but with this defense you have no help in the middle of the field so your user has to be legit and as you can see the dude's gonna come free every time so i'll show that to you one more time but i'm not lying man i'm not lying about i'm not no cap in my rep I'm showing y'all the best blitz defense in the game. So once again, slide the line to the left. I mean, to the right this time because, hold on, to the left or right? Yeah, slide the line to the right this time because the blitz are gonna be coming over here of cover three. Spread the linebackers to make them back up. Press, um, blitz, crash the line up. That's an important tip, crash the line up. Square in a middle third. Now, if they're not gonna hit the flats and if it's, what, third and, 13 second and 10 you can put cloud flats on the field you can get risky you don't have to put no um no purpose on the field you can do something like this triangle he's a wild card you can man up the running back with him put him in any type of zone you want put him in a hook curve you think vert hook if you think flood coming if you think the backside dig anything of that caliber so once again i'm gonna just man on mccaffrey man on mccaffrey because he might be on some type of wheel route some type of out route man him up let him snap the ball and as you can see that dude's gonna come in free every time 
and the pressure should aggravate the pass. But that will be the end of the video, man. Hey, if you're new to the channel, hit that sub button. Everybody hit that like button. Like helps me out so much, and that's all I ask for y'all. A like does show me y'all enjoying the content. So hit that like button, hit that sub button. That'll be the end of the video, and I'm out, goats. Peace.